Okay, um, we're going to go through some duty care now. Um, what I want to concentrate on first is the flu probe because nine out of ten times, if, they, if your readings are questionable, um, it's normally something to do with a flu probe, either a wet filter uh, or uh, a blockage, or indeed it might be as simple as the, the case pipe slightly open and it's, and it's letting in oxygen which is depleting your readings. So if we concentrate on the flu probe first, Firstly, if you, get your, if you get your probe and you put your finger over, the, over this end, block it up, and then blow down the metal work, encapsulating the end, obviously, what should happen is if you can't blow down it, that shows the integrity of the line is okay, you've got no leaks uh, anywhere along, along the way. Um, if you repeat that test, but this time leave the open end and put it to your ear, blow down it, what that's, that's showing you, you've got a clear line, you've got no blockages, um, and you can't hear any gurgling, so it means there's no moisture uh, in the line. Um, and then, if it passes both those tests, then it's a good idea, uh, you know, a good idea that the, the flu probe is working okay. Um, if you did have water in, this is a split chamber uh, uh, filter filter bowl. So what you've got on the bottom is, the, is, for, is for capturing the moisture, and on the top is for capturing the particulates. Um, and what you've got is inside there, you've got them two compartments separated by uh, a middle disc. Okay, now that middle disc can be removed. If you use a clamp probe, it's quite handy because it helps you to remove it if you've got no nails like me, and also it captures the O-ring so you can't lose the O-ring. Now, obviously what you do is when you open that up, if there was moisture in there, any moisture, any condensate at all, it needs to come out and needs to, you know, just dry it out. So you get a dry cloth, obviously go inside there, and it allows you, once you remove the middle disc, it allows you plenty of room to take all the moisture out. And then, if you look closely at that, you'll see that it's got a, a, a spigot pointing up, and inside there in the middle, you can also see there's one looking very similar to that, and that's how I remember which way round they go. So you pop that middle disc back on, and your O-ring goes on the top of that, and then your filter, if you look into this compartment here, your filter locates on the, on the spigots internally there, so you push that onto there, Make sure it's home and centralised. Make sure your two locating lugs are, are, are there, not broken or snapped or compromised in any way. Um, and then you pop that back on to the locating lugs and twist it right up till it's tight. And then obviously what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to repeat the test I did earlier. So I'm going to hold the finger on that. Nothing that's letting by, so we know the readings aren't going to be depleted. And I've got a nice clear run. So now the flu probe uh, is ready to go. If you do need uh, new filters, obviously they're available through uh, most of your uh, local tray counters. Um, and uh, obviously if you're missing an O-ring or indeed, uh, unfortunately you've dropped this, because what happens is sometimes when you take this out of the bag, people let it drop to the floor and you can send a crack in it and that, that, would, that would cause you uh, an issue. So all of these parts will be available from your local plumbers merchants. Um, we have a duty of care document that is also on our website which does show you um, exactly how the uh, filter bar goes together if that's going to be helpful to you. Uh, or indeed you can obviously ring the technical line and we'll happily support you on the phone uh, if need be. Thank you.